Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your monthly reading for July. This is going to include love, career and finance, and health and wellness. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, I just announced the contest winners for last month. Um, I will be starting a new contest for this month, so all the details will be at the end of this video, so stick with me till the end. And also, guys, um, my announcement for today is Jennifer Walker Zen is on Amazon.com, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, my beautiful Pisces, let's jump right in here. All right, so we're first going to start with love, okay? So, my Pisces. What's going on, my Pisces? Romantic love life for July. Give me nine cards for the romantic love life for July. Give me nine cards for the career and finance for July. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There. So we'll have that shuffled already. And let's throw down these cards. Let me just switch camera views. Also, Pisces, please remember that these are general love messages. So. You can check your sun sign for your soul, your moon sign for your emotions, and your rising sign for your physical you. All three of these Pisces make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. All right, so let me move this down here so you guys can see. I'm going to get all the cards in here. You know, we'll start with these first, and then we'll throw three more after we go over these. I just want to throw some more down here and guys if you like it this way and you want me to continue to do it this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both all right so stick with me to the end let's jump right in so let's go on my pisces romantic love life for july show me the cards i need to see show me the cards i need to see all right and also before going further on this i just want to get you guys some guidance here some intuitive guidance here on what you need to know this month okay pisces what does pisces need to know this month in july that could help them with their situation show my cards I need to see show my cards I need to see all right so we see here let's start with this first openness power and inner peace Okay, let me just tune in here, Pisces. Okay, so what do you need to know this month that you don't know that could help you with your situation? Well, I feel like you guys need to tune in to your intuition, okay? You need to be open to the divine. You need to see the forest before the trees. And also, expect some huge change here because look at that lightning, or don't be surprised or you're going to get the clarity, the clarification that you need. This for me feels like the Ace of Swords energy. It feels like there's going to be this sense of clarity. If you're open to the divine and you see the forest before the trees, you're gonna get the answers that you need, you're gonna get the clarity that you need, or there's going to be some huge change happening here for you guys, which is going to bring things for you a sense of peace. Now, I see two fish in that card. Now, fishes for me can represent emotional peace. For some of you, it may be because of money and finance, okay? So some of you may be struggling to get the answers that you need when it comes to money and finance or emotions. And if you're just open, you're open to the stars, you're open to your intuition, and you allow that change to happen, the answers will come to you, okay? Also, I feel like with the inner peace card, it's saying, make choices with your heart because we're talking about water water represents some kind of motions or movement or for some of you you have been in a stagnant situation and now you're going to move forward okay there's going to be movement there okay now take that out how it resonates that could be love it could be finance it could be ever whatever how that resonates with you okay so now let's move on to this is going to be love here 
Okay, so obviously I do feel like things are going to be moving in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune card. For some of you, it's because there's going to be a stable situation. For some of you, it's something to do with marriage and long-term commitment. We see two people coming together here. And it does look like you are a very attractive energy, Pisces. Okay, we see the energy of Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We see that there's some sense of mystery. You're gaining some kind of knowledge here. That's what I feel like. Normally, this would represent secrets, okay? Something secret here. But I feel like this card calls to me and says, knowledge, intuition. So your intuition is really at a high. And what did we see in your cards? Open it to the divine, right? So things are moving in your favor and your intuition is at a high here. You are tuning in here. And there's something to do with marriage, a long-term commitment, a stable relationship, something close to home, stability and stableness in your romantic love life, and the sense of wisdom here, because you've been through it, okay? So you know how to make wise choices and wise decisions towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And I feel like for some of you, there may even be another person involved because we got the Three of Swords energy. I feel like somebody is definitely longing for you. They definitely are feeling heartbroken over you, okay? And I feel like your intuition is telling you this or there's something to do with this, this mystery or this, this sense of knowing here about this heartache. And we see it's next to the King of Swords energy, which could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We also see it's next to, above, the Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. You're radiating this attractive energy and you're definitely breaking some hearts here. I'm gonna clarify further here. Also, we're gonna use the Lenormand as well. So I'm using the Spiral Tarot today. I'm using the Zen deck, which is the one I told you guys about on Amazon. I'm using the Lenormand, okay. So, Pisces Romantic Love Life, give me nine cards for Pisces Romantic Love Life. Give me six, so, excuse me, nine cards for the Korean Finance. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, so let's clarify further here. First, we're going to start with this. So we know that things are moving in your favor because there's romantic feelings here. The feelings are real and worth exploring. Going further here, why? What did I see here? Marriage, long-term commitment. What do we see here? A ring card energy. Commitment, engagement, or marriage. So we see, let's just move this over a little bit here. We see that there is romantic feelings and possibly for some of you, something to do with marriage and long-term commitment here. And then we see the socializing card. And what did I say? There could be more than one person involved here. The socializing card is people, okay? It's the public. So there's romantic feelings here something to do with marriage and long-term commitment and something to do with pe other people involved, right? Three of swords energy, more than one choice or option. You're breaking some hearts here, okay? And then this, this high priestess card energy. Now, she represents, I feel like she represents, you may know about this, okay? I feel like, it, for me, it feels like you may know about this because the high priestess, she can be secrets, she can be mysteries, she can be using your intuition. Definitely someone is missing you and they long for your embrace once again. So even if you mirror that card with this card, you see there's the heartache, okay? Going further. There's wisdom here in making a wise choice and a wise decision, but I feel like you guys have uncertainty about the situation because we see the uncertainty card. And then we see the three of swords energy. This person feels isolated and separated from you. So I feel like the uncertainty is coming into play because you don't know whether or not uh, what person to pick here, who to choose, right? Because we have the socializing card. We can see this in another angle as well. There's romantic feelings and a commitment towards going out, socializing, or this happens when you go and socialize. There is a person that's very, very much missing you and they really have uncertainty about the fact if you feel the same way for them. And they have a sense that, oh my God, I feel so isolated and so separated from Pisces. Now going further on this, okay? Going down to the next line here. Nine of Wands energy shows, oh my God, I better keep my wall up. I feel like Pisces, that's you. I better keep my wall up because I'm not trying to get hurt, right? I'm not trying to get hurt. And you know what, from my wisdom when it comes to love and romance, because that's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, I feel like it's the wisest choice to be defensive, to keep my wall up. 
But on the same token, it seems like there's a lot of opportunities here for you, okay? So there's a lot of people throwing themselves at you. There's a lot of people that want you, Pisces, because we see, look at all these opportunities here. One, two, three, four opportunities. There is one here for you, Pisces, that's a really good opportunity, so don't miss this, okay? Look at that. You see how this person, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't want what's being offered here, because you're like, I don't want to get hurt. But on the same token, there is one really good offer right there, okay? So going further here, this defensive energy, so you guys may be like, all right, we'll just be friends, you know? Or giving that air of like, let's just be friends, you know, we have a good time together, okay? King of Cups energy. The reason why is because you guys have dealt with some things in the past, you don't wanna get hurt, and so you're like, this wisdom is, you know, in me healing. And then we see there is some kind of opportunity here to reconcile, to heal, okay? So, there is someone in your life that is going to want to be friends with you so they can heal, so they can reconcile, reconcile with you. And they like an opportunity, somebody you could have dealt with before, okay? Or for some of you, you're kind of feeling a bit defensive about this, okay? And you're like, you know what, I just really want to focus on self-love and on self-healing here, and I want to heal myself, and I'm really not really interested in what's being offered to me at this time. And the, the people, the choices, the options here, they're just like, oh my God, Pisces, I want to be with you. You know, I'd really like a serious relationship with you for some of you, okay, because we see the commitment card, and they're like, there's romantic feelings, and I'm missing you, but I don't know how you feel, Pisces, you know, and there's a sense of isolation and separation from the socializing or more than one choice or option. So, going further on this, let's pull these down. Let's use uh, cards, uh, three cards here. Let's see, let me move this in the back. Yeah, and we can also see if you look at it collectively here, and let me just move this down. If you look at this collectively here, Pisces, just take a look at this, okay? Let me just move this down, move this down, okay. If you see what I see here, okay, move this down. Okay, we could just look at the words themselves and just see if I can get this in, in, in camera here. Okay, okay, okay. At the central theme, what is it saying? It's saying that there's uncertainty. There's romantic feelings or there's a sense that there's real feelings and are worth exploring and there's something to do with a friend here who wants to reconcile and socialize or go out with you, okay? Or you guys have more than one choice or option. There is some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage or something to do with a commitment to missing you and wanting to heal things with you because they feel isolated and separated with the isolation card. Now, let's move this out of the way. And let's look at the Lenormand aspect of this. Then we're gonna go into your current finance, okay? And even if you look at it from this angle, right? It's saying, at the central issue, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I know how to make wise choices and wise decisions. I don't know what's going on or I, get, I, I gain some kind of knowledge from the past and I'm not trying to have heartache here. There's things that are moving in your favor but there's defensiveness about getting hurt. And you know what? I don't know if I want what's being offered when it comes to this chemistry and attraction. Marriage and long-term commitment and something secret or some kind of knowledge here about wisdom when it comes to love and romance because of sense of heartache or having more than one choice or option. Now going further with the Lenormand. See, there's hope here with the star card energy. And the bear card shows something to do with control and something to do with something of a surprise or wanting to socialize here. There's a wish and a hope to gain the strength and control or strength here to socialize. There's news or messages coming in for you about healing and recovery and some indecisions here, a choice that has to be made because this defensive energy that needs to end, stop, or complete, or you wanna take a break. And this wisdom around love and romance is what's causing the block shillies and challenges when it comes to people or choices. And definitely, it seems like Pisces, there is a lot of options for you coming up, okay? That you're gonna have to make a decision about. Some of them may be very surprising or very attractive to you, okay. So now let's move into your career in finance. Let me move these aside here. Okay, now coming to the career and finance here. 
we have the Ten of Wands energy, the Knight of Pentacles energy, the Page of Swords energy. Let's go over these three cards, then we're going to go to the next three. So it looks like you guys are dealing with a lot of burden. You can see that person right here. Okay, this person is like, man, there's a lot of stuff on my back. There is a lot of stuff I got to deal with, a lot of responsibility. And Knight of Pentacles is saying, all right, he, things are moving here. I know moving into the right direction and, and something very serious, but it seems to be taking too long here. It seems like there's too many breaks. And it's like, you know what? I'm just ready for new perspectives on this. I'm ready to have accomplishment and completion here and an action here to new ways, new perspectives, new ways of looking at things. Okay, going further with the Lenormin. Because these burdens and responsibilities, it's causing a sense of confusion here with this cloud card energy. And we see that there's a lot of repetitive things happening here over and over and over, right? And um, you're trying to gain new ways and new perspectives. Now, the tower card for Lenore, when we're talking about career and work here, it can talk about a career environment. It can talk about big money, right? Huge money, tower card energy. So, and also isolation and separation. So I'm confused. I need clarity here because things keep just going the same. It's like repeating patterns here when it comes to this corporate environment or the sense of, you know, money, this huge money. I want, you know, more money here. I'm trying to gain new perspectives how to do that with the tower card energy or there's a sense of structure and organization around this. Okay, let's keep going. Emperor card energy, good energy. It looks like there is something to do with a boss or work or you guys are getting more organized in your routine. And look at that, there's a huge opportunity. For some of you, you're going to get in a, uh, an opportunity of being a boss or a manager or a, a, you know, like an energy of taking on more responsibility, which also could explain that 10 of wands energy too. There's more burden and responsibility because you're gonna have to take a leadership role because there's this huge offer on the table for you guys going further on this. Ten of Swords says, okay, but you're going to have to complete some things first here with the Ten of Swords energy for this opportunity, Ace of Pentacles energy. Going further, this Emperor card is because there's some kind of letter or message or document or email that comes in for you. And it's something to do with a contract or commitment here with the Ring card energy. And there is something before you can take on this, you're going to have to end some things here when it comes to money and finance here with the fish card energy to get some movement. We see you're going to receive a letter of a contract involving money. OK, and we see the emperor is saying, OK, control or structure or something to do with a boss and a huge opportunity which will complete or end some burdens that you've been dealing with. There is a ten of swords. You know, and if you go by this, if you look at this card to that card, Ten of Wands to Ten of Swords, something is going to be completed in your career in finance. Now going further here, there's some kind of partnership happening for some of you, or you're going to have to make some choices towards something that you love in order to hold on to the situation with the Four of Pentacles energy. And you are exploring some things there with the Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's some things being revealed here after a long time or this patient energy pertaining to your burdens and responsibilities here with the cross card energy. Wow, okay, all right, let me move this out of the way. And guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. We're now gonna move on to your health and wellness here, Pisces. Let me move this out of the way. Can I have some and wellness advice for my Pisces. The cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. So Pisces, here is an increased energy for you. So your guardian angels and ancestors are, and sending you more energy, more health, more wealth. Yep, there we go, divine intervention. Just have faith that it's going to all work out. All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. So obviously, we've already I've already announced the winners for the contest winners for last month. Okay, so that is actually you can look in the videos. You'll find the uh, announcement there. Um, 
for the winners and also we're going to be starting a new contest this month so all you have to do is work I'm gonna be picking two people this month coming up all you have to do is put love in the comments below and I love you guys so much and I will see you guys actually another day or two because your weeklies are coming out next which includes your day-to-day -day and then your overall I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month and I will see you soon